everybody, welcome to RPM, Rock and Pop Mandolin, your site for learning classic rock and pop songs on this wonderful little eight-string instrument. Classic rock and pop songs and Christmas songs like this one by the Pogues, the British-Irish band that put out this Christmas classic in the middle 80s. A really wonderful song called The Fairy Tale of New York. Well, it's a wonderful melody. The lyrics are kind of dark, but it's one of the most popular Christmas songs. I think I read somewhere that it's the most popular Christmas song of all time in the UK, and certainly it is a wonderful track. I love playing it on the mandolin. It works really well on this instrument. I will show you the various parts as I see them coming up in this tutorial in a few minutes. But first, a little bit of business here. If you're new to the channel, thanks very much for checking us out, but don't forget, hit that little red subscriber button on the way out. If you are a returning subscriber, thanks very much for coming back. We really appreciate your support. Leave us a like if you like this video and don't hesitate to check out our new Learn Rock and Pop Mandolin video series. The link is down in the description box below. 16 video lessons that you can access for life for a really low price of only $29.99. Makes a great Christmas present for somebody that you know in your family or maybe for yourself. It is a great video lesson series for beginners all the way up to intermediate players, uh, so please check it out. Also, if you want to support this channel a little more and get some more extras, check out our Patreon link down in the description box as well and some product links from Sweetwater and Amazon. Anyway, that's enough business for you today. In this lesson, we will take a look at that Pogues classic, Fairy Tale of New York for Mandolin, here on RPM. Okay, Fairy Tale of New York is in the key of D. It's a really cool, sweet sounding song on the mandolin. Um, the introduction, though, is played on the piano and it involves these chords here. All right, so what is that? Well, that's kind of a G chord configuration. Moving to a bit of an A chord configuration here, and then ending up on the D. All right, but this G chord might be a little bit new for you. If you haven't seen my video, in my video lesson series, Learn Rock and Pop Mandolin, closed chords. All right, I go over all of those closed chords in that lesson series, by the way. But here, I'll show you this one. This is a G chord with the root, actually the root here on the D string. Fifth fret of the D string fourth fret of the G string, right? And then second fret of the A, so four, five, two. That is a G chord voicing, right? And then you're gonna move that whole voicing up to here, two frets up in a minute. But let me show you the little strumming pattern first, or the little picking pattern, it goes. So all I'm doing is kind of hitting these two notes here first with my pick, and then I'm catching that high second fret on the A with my well, this finger, the second finger on my right hand. So, can you see that? So, and then I'm coming back down. So, I'm going, so those two notes, I'm hitting that and that. So it goes, and then, okay, so from there, from the G, as I said, I'm moving up two frets. So now I'm at the sixth fret here on the G string, seventh fret on the D, and fourth fret on the A, but I'm moving, I'm moving that little note there up one in this little pattern here. So it goes, so I'm hitting this note here and kind of catching this one down here with my pick. And you see, I'm doing it like a little claw, like that. Okay, so, so it goes, All right, so, and the last part of that lick is just those two strings open, A string and D string. So once more, very slowly. Okay, so, you see I'm moving just that one finger there, but I'm clawing this note as well, so. And then those two open. Okay, so one more time. Then I'm coming down like that. All right, so once again, I'm coming. I'm coming down like that. So after that, after this part, 
I'm just going five, four, two, two, open D chord. But at the same time, I'm still kind of hitting that A as well to give you a bit of a double stop. So you hear that? Five, four, two, two, D chord like that. So one more time through the intro. Like that. Okay, then you're moving on to the verse. Now the first verse, it goes, it was Christmas, it was Christmas Eve, babe. In the drunk tank, right? I'm not gonna sing it. The old man said to me, I won't see another one. Okay, so the chords there are D to G in the drunk tank, then back to D, won't see another one. That's an A chord, okay? And then D again, and then G, and I'm looking at my chart here, that's why I'm looking away, D, and then G, A, D. But what I was doing earlier on the introduction is I was kind of arpeggiating those chords. That means I was picking out the notes individually. So watch this, over the D chord. So a little pickup line goes. So from two on the G, open D, two on the D string, so G, open D two open and then I'm just hitting these two notes here and then strumming that D chord see how I do that so that's open to open and then So what am I doing there? That's a really cool little melodic line as I go to the G chord, right? So I'm playing. So what's that? Well, that's on the A string, right? It's five, four, four, two. And then with the two on the A, I'm also hitting the three, the third fret, on the E string to form that G chord there. Like that, you see that? Okay, so you're going back up again, those same notes. So instead of coming down, you're going, so two, four, five, and open to the fourth fret there of the D string. All right, so here it is again. And then from here, Okay. All right, so what's that? Well, I'm going open D, five, four, two. But once I come to the two, I'm also forming that A chord with the two on the G. So it's two here and two there. And I'm hitting those two notes from the A chord and then back to that little pickup line again, going back to the D. So one more time, let's do the whole part again. Repeats again. And then once more, just, just that A chord back to the D. Okay, then quickly it goes through the that intro part again. All right, and that's through the first couple of verses before they get to the faster parts. Okay, now in the song we move into some faster verses and they are a little bit tricky because they are all slightly different. They employ mostly the same chords, your D, your G, and your A, but there's also a B minor in there that's used occasionally. In fact, it's only used on the first time through. Then later in the song, they don't use it as much, but uh, I'll show you that. So, and now you're getting, uh, you're kind of getting an Irish rhythm going here, sort of an Irish jig sort of rhythm. You're going. And this strumming pattern is in 6-8 time now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Like that. And you're sort of emphasizing the 1 and the 4 there. Okay, 1. All right, 
so that's the strumming pattern just down if you want to do it slowly down 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 so one two three four five six one two three four five six one two four five six one two three four five six like that okay so all right what are the chords there well i'm going from d a d a d g a d okay so your open d chord there second fret here on the g string second fret on the e right open d open a there so to that a chord here which is two two open open right so twice to the a then the third time you're going d g a d okay that's just a little lead-in part to the verse and now the first faster verse goes like this d a b minor g d d d a d b minor d g d d a d did you get that it's a little bit tricky isn't it and that b minor chord in there is this one it's fourth fret of the g fourth fret of the d fifth fret of the A, B minor chord. So I'll, I'll do it slowly for you. Go, they've got cars as big as bars, right? So D to A, they've got rivers of gold. So that's D, A, B minor, G, and then the, it, the wind goes right through you. There's no place for the old. Okay, so you stay on that D for a couple of extra beats and then to that A, and then back to and you first took my hand on that cold Christmas Eve. You've got a D, this part is D. You first took my B minor, and then back to D again. On the cold Christmas Eve, that's a G. So D to B minor, D to G. You promised me, that's D. Broadway was A for D. Okay, so once more through that part a little bit faster, you got cars, so D to A, rivers of G. Wind goes right through you, new place for the old, right? D, B minor, D, G, D, D, A, D. And it's all that kind of Irish jig, um, uh, six, eight strumming with your right hand. All right, the next part, the next verse uh, does not have a B minor in it, all right? So it's a little bit easier. It goes, you are handsome, you are pretty, queen of New York City, the band finished playing, they howled out for more, like that, okay? So that's just D, 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 A, D, G, A, D. All right, one more time. D, 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 A, D, G, A, D. And then Sinatra was swinging, the drunks they were singing, kissed on the corner and danced through the night. Right, so again, that's D, 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 A, D, G, A, Okay, the next part I guess you could call a hook. It goes, the boys in the PD choir were singing Galway Bay, and the bells are ringing out for Christmas Day. All right, the chords for that part of the boys in NYPD choir were singing Galway Bay. Okay, so what is that? Well, that's G, boy, B minor, A, D, and back to B minor. All right, and the next part there just goes, well, there's two ways. The chord chart actually says it goes, bells are ringing, ringing out for Christmas Day. But I, I just hear it as the bells are ringing out for Christmas Day. You can just play it like that, right? Just the D chord, bells are ringing out to the A chord, Christmas Day. Okay, so one more time, that part, the boys in New York, PD choir, were singing Galway Bay. The bells are ringing out on Christmas Day. All right, so... G, B minor, A, D, B minor, D, A, D. All right, but I played a little melody lick over that, so I went. All right, I played something like that. So what's that? Well, when you go to the G chord, so just climb up that A string, go two, four, five, four, two, open. So, ten. So, 
Just follow the vocal melody, right? The boys, my PD band are singing. And then I come back down to on the D string. D, open, two, four. Okay, so. You can hit that D chord there as well. So G chord, two, four, five, four, two, D chord, open, two, four. And then the bells are ringing out. So that's a D Christmas day. So that's four, two, open D chord. Okay, the next verse is another fast one. It's similar to the previous fast one with no B minor chord in it. And then they do that, the boys in the New York City choir singing Galway Bay. They do that again. Then finally, at the end of the song, they hearken back to the beginning of the song almost, or almost the beginning, the first verse that goes like this. kind of fade that out. So that's the same pattern as I showed you earlier from the D. So the open A5, two on that fourth fret, and then to that G chord, right? So, and then back up again. Down to the fourth fret of the D string to an A chord again. So one more time. Like that. All right, everyone, that's it for Fairy Tale of New York by the Pogues, a really wonderful song to play over the holiday season or any time of year. I love those little melodies. And you can just play the chords if you want. The chords are down below. I will post them for you. Uh, you can play those. Or you can play those little melodic licks that I showed you as well on the mandolin. They sound really sweet, especially if you're jamming with somebody else, maybe somebody accompanying you on another mandolin or on guitar. Those little melody lines sound really great on this instrument. Thanks very much for tuning into this tutorial. If you're new here, please hit that subscriber button. If you are a returning subscriber, thanks very much for coming back. But don't forget, check out down below our new lesson series, Learn Rock and Pop Mandolin with Mike Dijon. Also check out our other links down there as well. Thanks for watching everyone. This is RPM. Merry Christmas and happy holidays.